certainly clear all your pesky energetic blocks and patterns that are not useful for you. But I also help you tap into your intuition and help you use that inner guidance to make decisions in your life. So, hey, Esther, Darlene, are you in? Oh, not on yet. Okay, great. So every week we do a show called Zap It Up. And it's based on an energetic activation that I created about 10 years ago in 2009, Ooh, more than that now, um, to help a girlfriend get a job. And I just, one thing I love to do is play around with the energy. So that's kind of what happened. And now it's turned into something I used with my clients. And now here we are having a show. Hi, Esther. Oh, good, you're here. Um, so we've been having a lot of fun taking our intentions and wishes, dreams, hopes, desires, things that we want to create in this life. And we are literally zapping them up with energy. So hello, Julie. Hi, Pamela. Ooh, glad you guys made it. So um, I wanted to read you, of course, a little bit um, from the Meg Benedicte email that I got this past week about the 444 gateway energy. So we can kind of, we're gonna be pulling that in today. We pull in energies to help us, so, or not. I don't know, it just depends what we feel like. So I figured since that was going on uh, this week, we would pull in that energy and I was reading about it and it just fit so perfectly with what's going on. So, um, so of course it's all about ascension and 444, I think you guys know, I'm always quoting, I don't know, her name's Joanne. I just went to the site really quick, um, sacred symbols, angel numbers, something dot blogspot.com. So um, 444 is um, archangels. Okay. So it's a symbolic time right now of love and support. Um, so be watching for positive signs, signals, and guidance. And this is all from Meg Benedicta, you guys. So the number four um, also has to do with the four elements. Um, I wrote them down, in a way, you know how you always say like earth, water, air, fire. <laughs> so I wrote them down weird, so it looked weird. Um, and then also, and I didn't know this, this was interesting, north, south, east, and west. So that is what we are going to be focusing on today. Um, and the the blog talked about um, inner wisdom, which I really liked that phrase, inner wisdom and listening to your own intuition. So, you know, I'm always preaching about that. Hello, Marie and Gay and Nikki's here and Callie, Cindy. Awesome, you guys. So happy to see you all. So let's jump right in because then we have more time for healing. Or I mean, what are we doing? <laughs> for your questions afterwards. And if you feel like uh, doing an energetic exchange, like the page, share the video, blah, 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 spread the roar, you know the drill. All right. And if you want to find us uh, talking about intuition and spirit guides and all that stuff, um, you can search in Facebook for Ignite Your Intuition. And you will see me there on the banner. And a hashtag Ignite Your Intuition should still work in Facebook search. Anywhere you're in Facebook, that should link you right up to the group. All right, Katie's here, Carmelie, the gang is all here. Okay, you guys, let's take a couple deep breaths and of course get your, sorry, I just poured some hot water, so it's kind of, I might be a little too warm still. So make sure you have your hydration handy. This is my tea that I've been drinking like crazy. And, I can't, hold on guys, one more thing. I'll be right back. My nose, I forgot how much my nose always runs in the winter, so pardon me. Hello, Susan, welcome. All right, so let's take a couple deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Get centered up. I immediately saw 444 which is kind of cool when I close my eyes. So it's ready. It's ready, you guys. So actually, we're going to do a little different today. So I want you to tap into what 444 means to you. And you read me read a little bit from Meg Benedicte, and I quoted um, that other website, and you already know what number four means. Um, there are 
of course, universal definitions, um, symbols, meanings behind numbers, and even like a tree or any other object, right? But what I teach is that when you start tapping into your intuition, you start developing your own dictionary, your own, um, that's why you do a notebook, right? So you're doing your own, from your own experience and your own vibes, you're, you're pulling forth your own definitions and your own symbolism. So the four number might mean something else to you. So use that use that and pull that in and whatever it means for you is great and we're also pulling in this like universal meaning of it right so i feel like i feel like those go well together if you do have something else or something that's um jumping out at you right now for this time period and this energy that we're in today um perfect Every, everything's perfect so that was just wanting to come out So let's, uh, I guess we should talk about what we want to manifest. So you can drop that in the comment if you feel so inclined. And we start pulling this energy in and around us. For me, it's really starting in the third chakra. It's like starting in my center mass here and not really moving yet. So that's okay. Um, Nikki says she's seen 444, 111, 1010, 12, 12 all day yesterday. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot more of that happening. Julie says 444 to me um, is always that my angels are with me. Yes. That's what I'm thinking and feeling in the moment is connecting with them. Absolutely. So if you've had any, any doubts or wonderments or worries about that, then this is, I'm telling you, and the 444 like Nikki, the numbers you're seeing, um, you know, it's, we're really, if we haven't believed it yet, we're really getting notified that um, we're not alone. The angels are with us. Our spirit guides are always with us. I told you last week, I believe that my guides were getting mad at me for not using them more, and not talking to them. I got a little in trouble. So, um, you know, whether or not you're really tuning in, um, or not doesn't really matter but you know if you were just a little more conscious about it and maybe even doing a little meditation or a little channel channeling or just sitting down and listening for a minute um i did that this morning after i channeled i just kind of zoned out a little bit i was like wow i guess i really i'm always either on the computer or you know watching tv or you know or something there's always something i was like wow i need you know it was a good reminder that i needed to just sit in silence and not be you know writing not be reading not be doing anything else just kind of letting it flow where it's going to flow in that moment all right let me go back up just see what everybody's saying to me okay <clears throat> um kelly's getting that her guides and angels are with her this is intention of the week abundance and prosperity perfect Julie's intention is to be productive around the home and to practice patience consistently with my son. Yeah. He well, he's got two things going on for him. One is, you know, the physical distancing, and then the other is his surgery recovery. So I imagine he's probably going really stir crazy and not being able to maybe move the way he wants. Carmelie says, yep, she agrees with Julie. It always means connection to me. Kitty needs help to ground and stay centered to heal my wounded subconscious. I saw three through three a lot this week. Did you like that uh, grounding that we did last week with those cords of, um, was it last week or the week before? The cords of um, the black tourmaline and the uh, rose quartz. I feel like that would be a good one for you. And you can just do it on your own now that I've reminded you. Gay's intention is to move forward. Pamela's um, get into more of a routine, better self-care, more energy, tap into spirit daily. So Pamela, for you, I would also suggest a little daily action list of what that means to you. So you actually write it down and you have something, you guys know, you guys know, I'm gonna flip it because we're almost on April. If you need this, let me know. It's my daily action list. I don't do every single one of these daily, but 
date and then my list over here and I just check it off every day. So that keeps me, you know, and my list didn't start out like that. I've been doing the list for 12 years. So, I mean, it started out with two months on a page and I had like eight items. So as, you know, I've grown and then I added business stuff to it, everything changed and it got to be a page long. So, um, so um, you can't measure what isn't tracked, right, Pamela? So figure out what those daily tasks are and write them down. Um, all right, Carmelie has been noticing the 444-333-222-111 on card plates a lot since I've moved. Well, what's jumping out for me about that for you is like it's time to get to your spiritual work. I mean, spiritual, what you're bringing to the world spiritually. I feel like all of us are on a soul journey, on a spiritual path. You may not call it that. You may not call it something like something else. Um, you know, I talk about roar a lot, living our roar finding out what ignites us inside, what we're passionate about, what our special gift is that we want to bring to the world. Maybe you're freaked out or you don't want to bring anything to the world, but slowly but surely it'll it'll uh, wear you down so you eventually do it. That's what happened to me. Um, Nikki's intention is on overdrive right now. I'm just worried about my boyfriend. He's in Peru waiting to get home safely. And where are you at, Nikki? Yeah. Um, so I was pretty impressed. Uh, United Airlines uh, flew out like the last um, the last bunch of people from Belize that wanted to leave. Um, I just had spent five years living there um, in the last six months in Mexico. So I thought I was pretty impressed, like people, you know, that they were doing that, allowing them out. So I feel like he'll get home just fine, Nikki. Okay. Um, I can um, message this to you, Pamela. Remind me, shoot me a message to remind me because I don't always remember. I'm not going to stop to write. Okay. Um, awesome, Kelly, bring your friends. Where's Terry? I don't see Terry. Um, Carmelie's getting back into the routine of talking with my guides and finding what I'm meant to be doing here. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So let's take those intentions. And we're pulling in some more of that 444 gateway energy. It's weird too, because now that you've all mentioned all these other numbers, I'm seeing these other numbers kind of on the outskirts. So I really feel like we have a lot of support right now with this, a lot of angelic support, a lot of spiritual support. It's not just like, oh, we're bringing in energy. There's actual supported beings coming with that energy. Obviously the 444 energy is the angelic energy, but what I'm seeing, something behind it and around it. So there's more to it than just this 444. Um, Nikki's in Vancouver. Okay, cool. Oh, but you're in California. You're all over the place. <laughs> all right. So, but I mean, he's got a long way to get back to you. So, okay. Hi. Um, <laughs> okay. Terry. Welcome, Terry. All right. Awesome, you guys. Okay. So we're going to go through this process here and a couple deep breaths for me in through the nose and out through the mouth. Yeah. I'm getting the sense that this 444 and other energies with it, um, I 444, etc. <laughs> sinking. They're sinking down into us. They're really anchoring um, I'm seeing it move now for me, at least through from the third chakra down to the second and the first. And I'm getting this is kind of for you, Katie, with the grounding. But I feel like we all still need grounding right now. So it's literally pulling itself down and um, it's going again straight into the earth's core to ground that energy and anchor it for us. So we're going to do that. Meanwhile, I'm seeing all of your intentions like hopping, seeing it kind of different than before or not. It's changed since we've shortened it up, right? And not like, let's go through the whole ignite, expand, magnify. Like, I don't know. It's interesting. It's like um, popcorn being popped. Like all your little intentions are like they're, they're itching. They're roaring to go. <laughs> they're ready. Hi, Madeline. Um. 
I wish I also knew what I'm meant to be doing. I see more and now I'm awakening more and more. I find concentration hard, not knowing which way to go. Yeah. Because it's almost like there's too much. So join us in the Ignite Your Intuition group and we'll talk more about that. Um, what, talking about soul journey, right? And soul purpose and soul awakening. And um, it can it can take a while. I'm always jealous of those people that all of a sudden one day wake up and they are clairvoyant or they've started channeling something and now they've got a, you know, five books or something like that. For me, it wasn't like that. It's been a lifelong journey um, unknowingly until 2003. And then I was introduced to energy healing. And then I started reading and going to classes and open, 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 opened. I've always been a seeker, but I didn't, I never thought I'd be doing this full time, like professionally. Right. So it definitely could take a while to figure that out. Um, okay. So to me, that popping and jumping around is, so how I'm looking at this is I'm seeing it intuitively and I'm feeling it. So I'm feeling what's going on with this popping, jumping, igniting. So for me, we're ready to go. <laughs> we're ready to explode these things. It's, it's not just even about our intentions but it's um, what's going on inside of us at this time with more reflection, more downtime for a lot of people. Think about all those poor extroverts that, sorry, they're not poor, but all these extroverts that are really struggling with being isolated or not, you know, no, so, you know, physical, physical distancing. And those of us who are introverts and sensitive, we're probably in kind of a celebratory time because it's our normal it's our normal thing right to spend time alone so um check in with your extroverted friends <laughs> if you can stand it do a little video call with them <laughs> turn on the music in the background let them get some noise and energy going um but well madeline so if you're doing reiki that's a great place to start right you can start with reiki and go from there um all right Let's go back in and check. So what I was saying is I just feel like a lot is ready to explode right now. A lot is ready to start coming forth. So um, take note, keep your notebook handy and write down these things that are coming to you um, regarding ideas of things you could do. Or, um, you know, I know right now is a little bit odd and perhaps difficult but there's the time for a lot of online work right now right so you could start a facebook page and start doing lives like this um doing your reiki madeline like i mean this kind of just happened by accident and here we are almost a year later so <laughs> you never know what's going to happen <clears throat> kelly says i wish a bunch of energy healers could do a zoom meeting or something and put all of our healing energy into the world i, kn I know there's people doing that um I guess we'll have to learn to keep the patience with the ones we live with and are <laughs> spending a lot of time with right now. <laughs> so I didn't even get to the end of that before I laughed. Yes, so true. <laughs> so very true. Um, well, today I'm going to catch up on my birthday emails from last month and people checking in on me in the scurry of the last week of me leaving. So um, I have I have some quiet, you know, quiet time to do that today. Um, <laughs> Carmelie's best friend is off, always texting and calling you. I know it's almost like um, one of my extrovert friends checked in with me yesterday and she's going crazy. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. And like, I didn't have it in me to call her because I'd already done, you know, some interaction stuff. So I was like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> but I will have to give her a call and, um, and talk to her. But I asked about, like, I know her husband's an introvert, but I was like, what about your kids? And she's like, they're introverts too. I'm like, oh man, you're hating it. <laughs> and they're all gone. The kids are gone. But um, Nikki says lots of stuff going in the heavens the next few months, astrology stuff. Yeah. Very, it'll be interesting. I've had some weirdo, weirdo Mercury retrograde like stuff happen. Um, today and yesterday and I'm like I don't even get it it's not even we're not even near mercury retrograde so I'm like <laughs> I don't know what's happening hello Nicole welcome I feel like I'm losing my voice you guys okay hydration break please <clears throat> and then we'll wrap up the zap
All right. A couple deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. There you go. I just felt it settle in even more. Maybe that was the warm water going down to my belly, but there's just a real sense of calming that I just experienced. So they're pulling up this 444 energy up from the Earth's core and back up our feet, bottom of our feet. And um, so you guys know I, I talked about it last week. Linda's here, yay! Um, and I didn't, I didn't go live again last week. I really did mean to, but it's been quite an adjustment. I'm, I'm still in a little bit of culture shock. So <laughs> be gentle with me, you guys. Um, I, I'm actually going to schedule some events, some actual events, um, for us. Okay. So watch the page or the group. I'm, I'm actually, how do you guys feel about this? I would actually like to do a, well, we'll see if the eyes on video does okay for us. <laughs> That's the one we use for book club. So I want to do a video call where we can all come and talk and maybe do some energy stuff or answer questions or something. So maybe we'll do that like once a week, check in with everyone. Let's see what's happening in the comments. Okay, Pamela says, um, is it possible to do virtual energy healing? I know someone who does Reiki, but of course I can't see her, but need her. Absolutely, yeah. Um, in fact, I've only, like my whole business is, is at a distance so and i don't even have to be seeing you or talking to you it's just energy right we just can tap into it and feel it um so absolutely um oh technically okay so nicole's telling me the shadow see i thought the shadow was over a few days ago so that okay then technically it makes sense but it's so it's so weird because i've been feeling mercury like a month before it starts and then for me, it felt like it was over a long time ago. I know about the shadow period. So Linda's here. Um, should all be doing energy healing for each other then back and forth. Um, oh, sound healing. See, I need to get back to my sound healing, you guys. And I need to buy a crystal bowl now that I'm back. Okay. Um, yeah, Callie, if you need anybody to practice on, just post in the Ignite group and I bet you you'll have everybody commenting that they want a Reiki lesson or a Reiki session with you. And that's a great way to and what you what you do with that. Sorry, we're kind of heading into Q&A now. Not that this was a question, but when you do that, you ask them for feedback. So you ask them specifically when you take no okay, suggestion. This is how I did it when I did Reiki. Um you take notes when you're working on them for what came up to you, and then you ask them what came up for them so that you can match it up. Like, oh, you're working on the right leg. So yep, they had a right leg issue or whatever. Um, yeah. Well, Katie, we, Ignite, the Ignite group is there for you, Katie. So let's, I'll start doing, I'll start doing more posts besides the practice posts that obviously I haven't done this week, but, um, Let's do that and uh, just post in the group when you need something because I'm, I'm assuming, I'm imagining there's plenty of us that are feeling the same way. Um, okay, sounds like everybody wants to do a little video check-in. Um, Nicole misses going to the sound baths so badly. I would go twice a month at the full of new moon. Oh. Now that I live in Copenhagen, I don't have the same network and have gone over a year without it. That sounds really neat. A sound bath. Where did you where did you have that? Um so Pamela says me, I volunteer to be the practice for there you go, Kelly. You've got Pamela. Um Kelly, you can do it any way you want. So I'm assuming you would do the, she's asking if you'd do a video chat with them for that. So you could definitely do a video chat afterwards. You could technically do the session on video as you're doing it if you want. Um, but if you're still in practice mode, then you might, you know, want to take a little more time or not be, you know, watched on video or whatever. 
and then you could just check in with them. So yeah, you could do a video check-in afterwards. Um, Zoom does do free one-on-ones for um, any length of time and up to three for 40 minutes for free. Um, Nikki says Saturn moved from, oh good, we've got an astrologist. Okay, Saturn moved from Capricorn into Aquarius, hasn't moved in like 20 years. Yes, we just had a new moon in Aries a few days ago. You guys, I'm sorry I missed our new moon. I was out of it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, so um, is there anybody else like me who wants to learn more about, I'm pretty good with Mercury retrograde, but I don't always know what Saturn is or does or what it governs or Jupiter or Mars or any of those other ones. Does anybody want to learn about that stuff? Um, so Gay, I want to know how you feel after you listen to the sound bath. And what is what is a sound bath? What does that mean to us? I mean, I know what singing bowls are, but what is a sound bath? Oh, Utah. Wow. Okay, cool. I went to BYU. Hello. Um, and Hoi Rep is Danish. So now you're in Copenhagen, Nicole. I'm Norwegian and Swedish. In case that matters. Um, interesting. Okay, guys. So I'll get something set up. Um, so my new my new plan with these events are to do like a morning one like now and then another day do an evening so that the australia and other people i guess it's it's only five in the uk right now but concept right like to try to you know match schedules a little bit granted we're on a sunday right now okay nikki wants to learn about astrology oh it is this oh they just call it sound baths it is the singing bowls okay i guess i knew what you were talking about then <laughs> Okay, Kelly and Pamela get together to figure out your practice session. Um, perfect. And Gay's whole body tingles after listening to the bowls. I listened to 432 Hertz. Somebody posted it in a group. It was the miracle, miracle healing. I followed the link and had it on in the background. That was really nice. I forgot how much I like to listen to the Hertz um, frequencies. They really are calming. Um, so, Nicole says a sound bath is a vibrational healing that takes singing bowls, oh, and other healing instruments into account. So the bowls primarily, then drums, water sounds, chimes, flutes, didgeridoo, did I think I said that right, et cetera, many instruments. Okay, cool. Um, and you've got an app. Oh, Sofajeto. I remember, I think I used to use that one way in back in the day. Um, the gong. Yeah. Okay, cool. For all frequencies. Yes, Sofajeto. I yes, I remember that now. I had it on very briefly. So I'm gonna write that down. Hold on, where's my pen? Thank you for that, Pamela. Maybe something like that. I don't know the name's familiar. Marie loves her singing bowl. Marie, will you hop into the Ignite group and do lead us through a singing bowl live sometime? You could do your singing bowl from us. We could have a little a singing bowl session. I do like sound healing with toning. I haven't done it for a, such a long time. That was my first live in the divine group, Marie. Isn't that funny? And it didn't even post because nobody approved it yet. So I'm sitting there all by myself doing this sound healing the first time ever <laughs> oh anyway all right kelly listens to the different frequencies all right kelly and pamela are gonna talk um nicole says that's why i ask if listening online is giving you guys results i'm used to feeling the vibrations itself i would totally listen online if the sounds along help that that makes a lot of sense. Well, I imagine you'd still get something out of it, maybe not to the deeper level that you're used to with it being live in the same room. Um, Cause actually that would be pretty amazing to have that going on in the room while you're, I'm assuming kind of laying on a yoga mat or something, taking it all in, that would be pretty powerful. 
um yeah marie do that if you want just i mean if you want to schedule it first people know you're going to do it and they're there um gaze listen to several with more than the bowls it's wonderful even help clear up my plugged ears awesome um okay so the app that pamela shared has the options for different types of healing and you and have the bowls too okay cool um okay so use your headphones yeah because there's something too about see i don't like ever using headphones earbuds headphones i can't i don't i don't like it but there's different um like the i'm losing all my words the um shoot i think i have the app on my phone and of course don't use it but there's there's one it's gonna bug me that it go it plays into one ear or the other ear right and connects you or something i don't know if i would be able to see it fast anyway so does anybody have any sh any questions they want to talk about uh i guess we could do psychic readings if we want but just anything else. I did a little bit of a channeling about what's going on right now, and I'm gonna put that in the newsletter. Um, um, Kelly, what do you wanna learn about? The um, astrology stuff or the sound, sound healing singing bowls? I know you do wanna do the bowls. Insight timer, that's, yeah, that's the one I have. Um, maybe that's what it is insight timer and that's when i never like to use with the earbuds i'm like I'm such a rebel um i need to get back on that one binaural thank you the binaural <laughs> that is it pamela thank you i was i was not able to pull that word out um nicole says i've been buying a bowl each time i go to india but they are metal not crystal oh interesting um well, metal, like, are you talking about the yellow, like brass? Um, my favorite store in Mexico has the brass ones. I guess they're brass. They're kind of golden colored. Um, interesting. Okay, so I don't know how this will work yet for the astrology since I need to learn too, but you know what they say is the best way to learn something is to teach it, so. I'm going to have to get on my astrology stuff. A little mini class, maybe. Awesome, you guys. Um, brass. Okay, cool. I thought I was going to feel like I'm not connecting right. Um, okay, Cindy's asking, what are you getting as far as timing on this virus and when we will all be back to normal? Forever changed, of course, but back working and able to go out is what I meant. So last week, if you were on, some, I can't remember who it was, asked oh is this going to be over in in mid-april and i immediately body like my body was like answering for her <laughs> that's a no in muscle testing back and forth to the left and right so i was getting a no to that and then i muscle tested 20 months but i wasn't asking i wasn't asking specific questions so i guess we could play with this a little bit i really kind of hesitate doing any kind of prediction on this but um <clears throat> So let's see what I'm getting now. So if I don't have a number immediately hit me intuitively, then I do my muscle testing. So here I am feeling it. Um, so April, I'm gonna count the numbers instead. Um, So I'm still getting 20, still getting 20 months. And I was kind of, so that's what Elizabeth Peru has been saying, you guys, she's got a really good blog on this. Go to elizabethperu.com and read what she says about this. She's actually been kind of talking about this earth's change and 5D and all this stuff. So um, let me, let me, I wanna clarify that 20 months now, right? So I guess I'm kind of working backwards. So that's when I think things are gonna be back to normal. I am hearing, and I'm curious what you get too, Cindy. I am hearing that it's going to be very individual regarding going back to work and things like that. I really get the sense that um, if you 
haven't been able to work online yet, but have that capability. I feel like a lot of people will be transferring over into their own businesses, into the online world. People who have been, and like Harmony, are you still going to work or what, how's that going? How's that working? Is who is everybody still going to work? Are you able to work from home? Tell me a little bit in the comments. I know, I know what's going on with you, Katie, but so I'm just curious. Um, I know there's some, you know, non-essential workers. So 